So we come to the final question of asking what happened to the trees on Rapa Nui and what the possible causes of their disappearance might be. So asking the question with this research about climate change, there was a cooling event that happened 545 years ago that tended to be cool and dry, not as dra drastic as those of the past, but definitely a very severe event that happened. And we just don't know how long this continued, if it was short term for one year or a hundred years. Um, the length of this, this event is not known. Then another cause might be insects and de disease. Uh, things are introduced to the island via plants and people and could have um, been contributing factor to possible climate change. Loss of habitat and biodiversity has always been a question about losing the forest. You also lost all of the bird and the insect species that might have been pollinators. There are things like fires and floods and drought that caused uh, huge erosion when eventually rainfall did come back. Human clearing for food and building has always been the the thought cause of what happened. Um, but maybe there was also damage to the palm crowns when obtaining the palm hearts or damage to the palm crown via weevils and other larvae. These species, these four new ones I detected, also don't know uh, if they might be a species similar to the new Madagascar palm that was found that lives to be 100 years old and, and flowers once and then dies. And the cause of soil moisture loss and fertility is known worldwide. So that might have been also possible uh, effect of climate change and human landscape change. And whether there was severe drought and a search for water the trees hold 100 gallons of sugar sappy water, which the Chileans now use for wine, but lacking any water sources in a severe drought, the trees would be a source for water. So Barry Thomason wrote in the Botanical Journal of the Linnean Society in 2006 about how unique these palms are. So we may not know the cause of their disappearance, but understanding how unique these palm trees are, are really important. So it became obvious that this was not going to be another story in deforestation. The palm trees are monocotyledons, which are different than branch trees, our normal branch trees or dicots, but these are different from any other tree on the planet. They are the world's longest lived trees because stem cells of several kinds remain active in differentiated tissues throughout the life of the palm. So like an animal, more grass-like are what these palms are like and uniquely different than any other. The palm behaves in a sense more like an organism with unitary animal-like construction rather than a plant-like modular construction. These palms are self-regulated organisms. So like a human, if one part of the body is injured, um, such as losing an arm, uh, just like the, the palm itself, if one part was injured, the whole thing would die. So imagine with the estimated 16 million ancient giant palms breathing, such as a human organism, what this essence or life of this forest would have given to the life on the island. So from an evolutionary perspective, all groups of organisms are genetically unique as independent lineages. Therefore, the proper naming of this palm pollen that we found is uniquely different than any other on this planet, so it's called Pascalococcus. Even though the palm pollen is similar to the Jubaia, we can say that it might have been a distant cousin. So each palm can survive in its unique way, adapting to habitats in all ranges of hydrospheres with only one limiting factor. It cannot tolerate dormant periods caused by freezing temperatures. So what really happened 545 years ago, we still are not very clear. But with the loss of the keepers of the ancient knowledge of the giant palms and moai, it is difficult to know the cause of this disappearance. 
However, what we have regained in knowing about all the trees and plant species, we can guide the island into a healing place with this understanding and new information.